The next step is to send the code you've written on your computer to your Arduino board. Your Arduino IDE can do this for you. But before it does that, it needs to know which USB port your Arduino is connected to, in case you have a couple of them. You can tell your Arduino IDE where your Arduino board is connected by clicking Tools in the top menu, and then going down to Port, and then you should see at least one or two options in here. One option should have Arduino slash Genuino Uno next to it. That's the one you should click. Once you've done that, you can click this Upload button, which is in the top left-hand corner of the Arduino IDE and has an arrow on it. Then, in this blue status bar at the bottom, the Arduino IDE will say Compiling and then Uploading, and then it should say Done Uploading. Let's take a look at the hardware and see if the LED turns on. It worked! If your LED turned on, that's great. If your LED didn't turn on, that's probably because the code didn't upload from your computer to Arduino properly. There's a special page in the learning platform that helps you with exactly this problem. In your learning platform, go to the reference section, and then under topics, you should see a section called trouble uploading. Click that page. On this page, there are a few common problems that people have when trying to upload their code and an explanation of how to fix them. For example, the first one says that a lot of people forget to click the Upload button. The picture shows you which button the Upload button is, and the instructions remind you that after you write code, you have to click this Upload button for your computer to send it to Arduino. If you don't click it, the Arduino will never get your code or follow the instructions. If you scroll further down the page, there are explanations of a few different types of problems that you might be having. Check out the pictures and descriptions of the problems. If any of them seem like they could be the problem you're having, try the solution, which is given at the end of each problem description. If you get to the end of the page and you haven't found the help you need yet, you can click the Get Help button up here. That'll take you to a page where you can put in your name, your email address, and a message. Please let us know what problem you're having in the message, and we'll do our best to help you out. Click the button at the bottom to send us your message. Once we get your message, we'll get back to you as soon as we can to help you out. Once you've fixed any issues you're having, uploaded your code, and turned on the LED, you can go to the next video.